preparing for liftoff, we're off on a jaunt to Ian the Mechanics um, so we can finish off the roof. Currently um, following Kat's uh, new van, or old, new old van, we've just been up to Ian's at uh, IGM Renovations, uh, getting a look at a few bits. Uh, we've done a couple of odd jobs while we were hanging around. Um, made a plan for doing some more stuff, so she's got to take it back to him later. Um, so tomorrow I'm hopefully out um, doing the rounds of all the DIY stores, you know, Wix, B&Q, etc. Um, and possibly, if time allows, calling in at um, Coalition Van. So that's like Rick Beachwood and Liam Black, or Liam the Terrible, um, to hopefully con some stuff out of them. Um, Possibly the one thing I've come away with would be in a Londoner and a North Londoner, East Londoner is when the occasion arises having more bare face cheek than a bucket full of it. Um, again, like I said, asking doesn't cost anything. They can only say no. I'm still going to make them a cup of tea, take them a packet of biscuits, and if they're in the mood, uh, I am going to be able to provide a toss of scotch or brandy in their tea if they so wish. Or coffee. You know. So we'll see what happens tomorrow anyway. Um, that's sort of the rough plan. Um, so, cat's fan. The back bit where the bed is, uh, we want to do the bed wall first to get that bam insulated clad. So then she can get the cat's beds above her bed, which is where they used to sleep in, in the old van. But currently there's nap all to safely fix it to. Uh, so that's sort of the plan, try and get stuff organised for that. And then if I can, depending on what uh, Rick and Liam have got, if they've got one of an old stock diesel heater that they got from one of their suppliers, at the old price, I'm hoping they might kindly sell me that app, whatever it was they paid for it, so we don't have to buy one at the current silly prices. Um, but we'll see. And obviously, if they've got any other of the sods they can donate to her, that would be good, but we'll, we'll just see. Anyway, so obviously, unfortunately, by the time we finished with doing what we were doing at Ian's, we've come out into rush hour traffic, which I have to say, compared to London, is not that bad, but it's still rush hour traffic. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, I thought she was going across and leaving me to it then. Anyway, well, that's where we're up to at the moment. It's just a quick update. Uh, we'll see you later.
here we are. Um, I don't know, I think it's like day five, but it's Saturday basically. So we're up to at the moment. We've obviously got this post in, which is going to be the, the side of the, the doorway to a sort of toilet stroke shower stroke storage. Um, got the corner post in. I was going to try and get 38 by 38 rough saw, but it was actually dearer than the CLS, which, you know, crazy, but there you go. Um, obviously these pieces are screwed to the metal box section which is bolted to, to the um, bulkhead. As you may have seen in my stuff and Cat's videos, we uh, used, we used the Reflectix that was uh, salvaged from Grace. Um, this is the hardboard that the guys from Coalition Vans donated. Uh, this one's staying. This one coming back out, that was just temporary so she could have a, a bed against it last night. Um, hopefully by the end of today the fire will be in. Um, so I've set up my workbench stroke cat's bed. Um, this is the next post which I've got to trim to length but that's going basically where that little blue mark is. Uh, and then we've got to do the one that comes out here. That then would give us our wall which the back uh, the head of our bed you know pillow in whatever is going to be against uh, once the firewood sort of on, on that wall it's going to be there um, so that's where we're at at the moment so um, basically I suppose I'd better get on with it so I'll speak to you later Right, we're doing a bit of bodywork today. Um, it's 
this corner, front corner of the uh, driver's door, which has got some holes in it, but the, 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 the frame hasn't gone. So I've cleaned it out, I've rust treated it, and obviously now I've filled it, obviously waiting for that to go off so I can sand it. And then round here, obviously this is what we did when we were at Ian's. I'm going to sand that down later on and put some grey primer on top of it. This corner, which was the worst of the corners, uh, I filled it earlier on, obviously, let it dry, sanded it back. It's not perfect, but the holes have gone. <laughs> and obviously just put some grey primer over it. I noticed there was a little patch here where the paint had just flaked off down at the metal, so I've just put a bit of primer on top of that. Uh, I mean, the other thing I've been doing this morning as part, sort of part of that is going around all the cracks and the crevices and trying to get the moss out with a toothbrush. Um, believe it or not, that door handle has been scrubbed, so it needs a second go. Obviously, where I can, I've been stripping off the old um, sticky label. Obviously, that bit doesn't want to come off at the moment. See, I've obviously managed to get a few bits off. Apparently, it's working my way down to the end of the van. Again, scrubbing all the gaps, getting the moss and the dirt out. Obviously, all the loose flaky paint. Um, just obviously trying to stop any more rust starting. Um, obviously, then we'll, we'll deal with what we find through doing that. Um, so, that's kind of what we've been doing today. You can see, even though I've done those bits, it kind of needs a second go, just some of the dirt's a bit stubborn. Uh, my toothbrush is getting a bit weak, but we'll, we'll keep, keep at it. Anyway, that's where we're up to at the moment. We'll come back to you later. Right, last morning at Cats. I'm off sort of lunchtime. But just a quick update where we got to. So, battery box. Holes drilled in for cooling, both batteries in there linked together. Um, she's still obviously running in the mains from the house, which is charging a jackery, so she's charging all her tools and stuff off of that to uh, give this a rest. So, 20 amp charger, which she already had, that's connected to the temporary folding panels on, on the windscreen. Uh, that's connected to the fuse box, which then runs via that wire, which I know isn't heavy enough, and I have warned her about not overloading it. So at some point she needs, when she's got the money, she needs to buy a heavier cable. I'll give her the sizes, she ripped them down. So that goes through a hole in the bulkhead, which comes through there. So it goes across there, 
that's one of the little uh, LED strip lights, which is uh, obviously the lighting up which is in here at night. This is a sort of toilet stroke shower, maybe one day stroke storage. Um, behind that hardboard is the back of the um, accessory panel. Uh, obviously, it's been it's basic. It's what we had. It's what we could afford. CLS, a bit of hardboard that we had to donate to the coalition. Some roofing back, which is obviously cheap enough to buy. Uh, screws, which I had. Bits of a, a, an old bedstead, which she had in the back garden. Literally, it is what we've used, what we had to make the most of it that we could. Um, obviously, that's the cat's night bed, though. They seem, still seem to spend most of the time sleeping on her pillow, but there you go. Um, obviously, there's the panel. Again, I have told her, do not overload it. Just basic, charge your phone, charge your iPad, stuff like that. No dirty great uh, Yes, the storage cupboard has been filled with stuff, so whatever. And there's more stuff up there. As you see, that's where we put the new roof in. And obviously, this this the plywood panel that was here, it was completely rotten, so that's gone. That's dead. That's in the bin. So when she's got some money, she's got to get another sheet of thin ply so we can replace that. Uh, what, where are we else? Obviously, I've wired one of our other strip lights to the, the van supply, which obviously runs off when the, when the van's ignition is on, etc. Um, so she's got some light in there if, she, if she's obviously just been using the van. Obviously, the grills that we've put on the outside of the windows, which allow her to take the old bars off. Obviously, the stuff is still there, but here get a torch on and get them off at some point. Um, all these little shelf doodads we put back up that she had in her old van. Again, that's just something I had left over. I put up there. It's another shelf for a few bits. Whatever. It'll probably get ripped out later on when she does her cladding. Um, the desk, which was too low for her, we I've just used some CLS off cuts. I don't know if you can see the end poking out there, just to raise it up another couple of inches which means she can get her legs back under now, which is good, good thing. Uh, again, as you can see, some more of that uh, recycled bed, old bed frame there, which was used, just used for the, the end of the bed, to stop the mattress slipping off. Um, this section here, obviously, we, A, we run out of bits, but B, because she wants to change this rear ramp to a wall with a door in it at some point, and windows, we figured don't bother doing anything there, because it's probably going to it. we get ripped out again six months down the line anyway, so we've left it. Same thing with this side, we didn't have enough stuff to do the upper, so we've just left it as it is. Plus the windows are a weak point as far as um, insulation is concerned, so it's not going to make a lot of odds. Um, she knows what she needs to do. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of where we're up to on the inside. Um, obviously the tap's working now. Um, just fitted that security bolt, which uh, just for a bit more security when she's in the night. Um, I think that's say, all of the interior. Um, let's have a look at the outside. Again, silly stuff. We've peeled some of the old uh, striping off, and again, because it left it a white line, I've just covered it with a bit of grey primer to make it not stand out so much. That's still a stubborn bit that I don't want to come off. That's a job for cat. As you can see, some of the old marking was pink, stroke light purple. I don't know what you call that, but yeah, bright. Um, a lot of these seams where the panels meet the steel was going rusty. So again, it's been sanded, rust treated, and then I'll just put a bit of primer over it to, to protect it. Again, we did the same on these wear points on the hinges. Haven't done the top one, but again, it's all a matter of progression. Um, so there's a point that you need to look at there, uh, but it's all strong steel. So it, although it's, it is surface rusty now, it's not going anywhere. He's got time to deal with it. So um, that's another one. Business. So that's dented, that's been pushed in and it's rusted away, but it's treated, it's not going to get any worse until he can get to it. Uh, again, a bit more of the stripes got ripped off, a bit of grey primer, uh, a 
uh, that's as far as I got, unfortunately. But yeah, we're we're getting there. As you know, we did that bottom corner. The little cracks that are under the rubber, we tried to just protect them a bit of the silver foil, hopefully that slows down the rubber. Yeah, they did come back and saying that the red oxide put a bit of grey over it so it doesn't look too bad. Obviously that's the corner we did the other day. Um, that's it basically. Obviously, so that's the solar panels that she's someone donated her a while back which she's using to charge. Uh, you could do with another set really and I have put a message out on my Facebook and other stuff. You know, set in your garage please get in touch. Uh, just discovered there's another crack up the back. where we are up to at the moment I mean, in some respects it probably don't to the casual eye it doesn't look any different from when I turned up but it, it's progressed somewhat not as much as we'd like but as far as funds and available materials would allow so uh, anyway I'm off to Willowfields later today for a weekend uh, and so that's the, the end of part one of Project Hope hopefully um, part two won't be too long in coming 